Rodin is going to be an autonomous factory. That is the big picture to have as much as machining 24-7 a day. Uh, my name is Ruud Appel, one of the founders of Rodin. Uh, we started out from our sheet metal business and in the sheet metal business it is already common practice that there is a customer portal where you can upload your own step files. But that was not common practice in the machining world so that's why we invented the portal of Rodin and that is where our customer can upload their step file and uh, have a quotation within one minute and they can set their own delivery times. So it is actually your machining factory at your fingertips. Yeah, my name is uh, Paul. I'm one of the founders of uh, Rodin Machining. Uh, we have this vision of autonomous machining. Fostam has enabled our vision of autonomous machining through actually bringing to life the autonomous automation capability. We looked into the possibilities to do the machining itself, but we really partnered with Fostam's in the aspect of bringing to life uh, the continuous loading of the, of the cells the automated part handling, the automated tool handling, uh, the full crane handling with automated storage. So it actually really brings to life the whole concept of autonomous machining uh, into the factory. Uh, well, we started out with talking to Mazak. And we talked to Mazak and we said to Mazak, we are going to build an autonomous factory. So with as less people as possible, with as much as machines and robots as possible. So, will you help us with that? And they said, yes, we will help you with that. But it's close to impossible. Uh, from Mazak, we were building partnerships. And we, we truly believe in building partnerships and helping each other and getting the knowledge from one partner to the other partner and partnering up or getting into a marriage. And that is what we should, how we should look at this factory, at the Rodin factory, uh, like all partners and marriages. We all need each other. Obviously, there's a lot of complexity involved in the whole system. And in order not to let ourselves drown in the complexity of the total things, we just treat it as simple modules on itself. And bit by bit, we went through the modules, actually tackled all of the, the hard thought work we had to put into the different cells. And then bit by bit, we completed each stage. And that way, in a phase scenario, we've been able to actually scale it out, starting with the, with the grains, building out the ALD, onboarding the RoboFMS, and eventually also doing the turning cells. Without the software, the system would not run. Without the machines, we would not have products. Without automation from Fastums, we would not have machines running 24-7. So there is not one partner we could miss. And that's why we created a really good circle and uh, trustworthy relationships with all of our partners. But although we have a lot of automation and, uh, and thought work being automated and done by uh, machines, we are still humans behind the scenes. So in order to guarantee that we have actually accurate delivery, that we meet the tolerances, once we get the order, we have actually people in our office doing the work preparation, feeding the system to actually run it 24-7, um, 365 days a year. Also on our machines, we do a lot of probing in between so that we can actually guarantee the tolerances which are specified on the drawings accompanying uh, the product designs. It's been, uh, it's been a great journey so far partnering with Fostums on this project. So it's, really been, uh, it's been intense, we went through the design phase and then the building up installation and commissioning phase and really happy with the process and where we are now. We see forward for us a bright future in which we can continue to collaborate in building out this facility to facilitate even more machining uh, capacity. Uh, without everybody saying in the beginning, uh, it's not possible you should not do it like this, we always do it like this. Uh, human intervention is always needed in a quotation. Uh, I think we proved all those uh, naysayers that it is possible because we can see it here.